Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Virtual Resiliency Project. So um, we're here with Maria Farner. So glad to have you here from Montana to talk to us about essential oils. But before we do, I just wanted to um, say I'm Sarah Schulman. I'm from the Resiliency Project. And you know, the Resiliency Project was started at Brigham and Women's Hospital to honor the healthcare worker giving them a moment to collect themselves and to take productive time for themselves. But the added benefit with the whole um, process has been that we've been introducing them to um, um, holistic health practitioners like Reiki practitioners and orthobionomists, and they get a 15 minute session with one of them. And, and this helps them understand you know, they're so steeped in Western medicine, it gives them a chance to experience a more holistic approach to pain and stress. And, and so, you know, when, when I've gone virtual with this project, I've been like, what, what do people really want? And I've heard so many times that people don't really know, you know, why would I use Reiki or why would I use essential oils or, you know, and so I thought, what a better way to expose you all to these different modalities, but to interview specialists in the field and, and really talk about like why you would use them. And because I have had so much success with my health and my vitality with all these different modalities and especially essential oils. Most of the people who we're speaking to through the Resiliency Project know know about essential oils and probably have even met Maria Farner. She's come and talked to us um, a number of times at the different hospitals about essential oils. So thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. Um, and so maybe you could just start, I mean, I, I didn't really even introduce you, but um, would you want to introduce yourself a little bit and just- Sure. Oh, yeah. Great. Sure. And I'm so, yeah, I'm so happy to be here. And so I'm Maria Anderson Farner. I'm a mother and a grandmother and an educator. And I've been in alternative education for my entire adult life working with families. And now I work primarily with moms and really help them to make conscious choices. Uh, I also co-host a podcast called The Moms I Know with my colleague Sheila Walsh Dunton and do online trainings for parents around the choices that they make. And so I've been using essential oils now for about eight years and they are just an amazing tool in our toolboxes for health and wellness, both physical and emotional. And so I'm really happy to be able to share with you and uh, the participants of the Resiliency Project. I think the work that you're doing is so important because we really need to, um, you know, that we need to have our caregivers being taken care of themselves. And it's with the families that I work with, the moms, it's like, you know, putting the oxygen mask on first. We have to take care of ourselves so that we can be there to be um, present for our children, for our families, for everybody that we're coming in contact with. So it's a very similar model. So yeah. I'm just delighted to be here. Well, thank you, thank you. And I, and I love what you said about the tools in the toolbox, because that's really, I mean, since I've, you know, started in this whole holistic practice, I really realize how the limitations to Western medicine for so many of these like, you know, things that come up with our kids, with our, you know, kind of chronic illness type issues or, um, and, and I just have absolutely adored having this, this whole connection to the essential oils. And what mostly, you know, when, I, when you first introduced them to me, I was so taken by the emotional component that, that they, you know, because of their, you know, connected to the limbic system and, you know, incredible, like, anxiety and stress and incredible, um, what do you call it, you know, um, help for that. But, um, but, but then, you know, the whole component that I really haven't studied much about is just how helpful they can be for the common cold or the, you know, so that's, I'd love you to talk a little bit about that. So tell okay. us a little bit about what, what are essential oils. Okay. Well, I think also this, the, the aspect that you came from the emotional component. I mean, we know now that about 80% of illness is stress related. And so if we can get control of our emotional state, 
then that's going to enhance our physical state. And so I think that's the beauty of essential oils is that they work on both the emotional and the physical level at the same time. And so we can, we can reduce um, anxious feelings. We can calm ourselves. We can, you know, really lean into managing our, our sleep and our, all of our habits. And so I, I wanted to just go back to a, a little point in this holistic aspect. And, you know, Western medicine, we're, we're so grateful for it, for when we have these life-threatening emergencies. But for the self-care, for the, the general health and wellness that we can take care of at home, and we, we need to focus on nutrition, exercise, sleep, rest, you know, relaxing and managing stress, all of these things. And so the essential oils can help with everything. And we joke about there's an essential oil for everything. But when we really look at it, they are just these incredible chemical compounds from the plant. And plants and humans, you know, we've evolved together uh, over thousands of years. And so our bodies know what to do. So the essential oil is basically sort of like the, the protective system of the plant. It's these little sacs that are in the leaves, the stems, the roots, the, the pods, whatever, from different plants. And not all plants have essential oils, but the plants um, that we do gather these essential oils from, most of the plants are steam distilled. The oils are steam distilled from the plants. Some of them are cold pressed like citrus oils. And so we take these precious, precious oils from the plants and they're, they're concentrated, they're incredibly potent. So they're highly powerful, they're very effective and they are very safe when used uh, the way that we can help educate you around. And so we wanna make sure that you are using pure therapeutic grade essential oils because the essential oil industry as it's gained popularity has also gained in um, a lot of adulteration of many, many of the oils. So we wanna make sure that we are using pure, potent, safe essential oils, and we can use them um, on and in our bodies in different ways. And so when we look at these essential oils, they can act within our bodies to help support the physical symptoms or, and systems of our body, and then we, they can also help the emotions. So like lavender, for example steam distilled from the, the petals, the leaves, the stems of the plant, the lavender plant. When we use this essential oil, we can diffuse it in our homes. We can put it on our, on our bodies with some uh, carrier oil. We, I like to use a little bit of carrier oil to help, uh, help it not evaporate so quickly on the body. And it can reduce cortisol levels. It's calming, it's relaxing. It's also slightly uplifting. It's a beautiful scent. And so our bodies can achieve that state of relaxation. So it's going to help manage our stress. It could help with sleep. And so, you know, it, it can help with skin issues, kind of calming skin issues. So sunburn, some bug bites, things like that. So it's a beautiful oil to use in a variety of ways. So again, that's physical and emotional. And so I love helping people learn how to use these and they're also they're quick when we inhale an essential oil even if we just put a drop in our palm and inhale it's going right up in you know through the olfactory zone right to the amygdala and it's acting super quickly on our body systems and so we're getting that benefit so so beautifully and they're inexpensive it's pennies per drop you know we get these beautiful little bottles and we're using one or two drops at a time. So they're very cost effective as well. And so it's a preventative model. We can really look at all of these things, nutrition, exercise, resting, managing stress, and utilizing our essential oils as a preventative model so that we don't need that Western medical model, which like I said, we're so grateful for when we really truly need it for trauma and things like that. So, so you mentioned lavender. Did you see, like, probably about six months ago, the article in the New York Times about lavender? I didn't see that particular. Because yeah, yeah. it was it was talking about how the studies have shown that it's like you know easily um, comparable to like thallium for anxiety. And um, I'll, I'll try and send that to you. Okay. But. Well, there's also you know there's so many different oils that can work in different ways too, and every body is different. You know, all of our systems are different, and so what's going to really resonate for one person might be a little bit different. So these, you know, when I'm talking today, I'm talking in generalizations, but in general, yes, lavender is a very calming essential oil. There's other ones, and and you know, I use um, DoTerra essential oils, and there's a lot of beautiful blends. And so there's a blend called Serenity, which also has Roman chamomile in it and marjoram. You know, so 
blending some of the oils can enhance that. And I find that blend for me to be even more relaxing and more supportive of my sleep. And, and so, you know, just, it's so much fun is, you know, this today is just the tip of the iceberg, but it's so much fun to learn about these essential oils and how we can use them in a myriad of ways to really support our overall health. So, you know, when you first gave them to me, I, um, you know, you, you had me sign after and I got like six bottles of the, like, I forget which, which kit it was, but it was like lavender and frankincense and lemon. And, and I just had them sitting there having no idea what to do with them. And, um, and, you know, I tell this story, some of you have probably already heard it, but, um, but one day it was like right before my father was, um, he was really sick and he was, um, you know, close to dying. And I, I opened the frankincense and I smelled the frankincense and I was like, oh my God, I have to have this like every day of my life now. And I was just like pouring it on me. I went through a whole huge bottle and I remember calling you and saying, you know, what's up with the frankincense? And you, do you have that emotional book that you could show? Because I, um, so I, you, I don't think I had that book at the time and you read me, um, you know, what frankincense was about. And so if you could just show people what the, this book is so awesome. And most of you at Brigham who are watching this have seen this book, but, um, but frankincense, I mean, you know, you don't have to read it, but basically it's all about your relationship with your father. So um, it, it just like was the first like awakening to like how incredible these are. And, um, you know, and so, and I had been bringing them over and like massaging his feet with the frankincense. Like, I don't know why I was doing that, but obviously like the oil was speaking to me in some way. So, um, you know, they are just that, I mean, since then I've had so many experiences like that. And I'm sure you have too, with like friends who have, you know, had these profound, profound experiences emotionally with these oils. So that's incredible. But then I also, um, I have the, uh, this book that more recently I have been exploring. So for any of you, um, this is a really good book around the doTERRA oils. And, um, you know, you can look up any kind of, any illness that you have, throat, stretch marks, stroke, suicidal feelings. And, and it has a whole, you know, sunscreen, add five to 10 drops to one tablespoon of fractionated coconut oil of helichrysum, arborvita, and sandalwood to make a nice sunscreen. So it's just, I mean, it's such a good, like if people want to be natural and live, you know, especially with kids, it's an incredible tool to have. Just well, I think that you're, you're addressing this whole non-toxic and natural lifestyle. And so, you know, we really want to reduce the toxins in our home. We want to support ourselves emotionally. We want to be deepening our meditation practices. I mean, all of the modalities that you've been introducing people to, you know, the, these are all things that are very complementary. And so the Essential Emotions book is just amazing. And so, you know, it's really a fun one to be looking at. But frankincense, of course, is the oil of truth. And so it can help support that sort of the, the transformational passing of, of, you know, from, from, you know, this realm to the next, but it also works on our cells and really helps our cells go through their healthy life cycle. And so that they don't change into an unhealthy cellular pattern. And so, you know, I, I love the fact that this is this whole holistic way of, of living. And so whether it's, you know, non-toxic sunscreen, or it's something that can help us relax at the end of the day, or something that can uplift us in the morning, or when we're going through a stressful situation. Or like peppermint is another favorite of mine. I can use peppermint to uplift the mood. I can use it to cool myself down if I'm overheating. I can use it if I've got some feelings of tension. I can put it on the back of my neck. I can just inhale it. Um, I love to talk about the different ways that we can use these. And so we can use them aromatically and that's going to affect, you know, everyone in the, in the vicinity. So like if I'm diffusing in the home, it's uplifting everybody's mood. It's helping to purify the air, that kind of, you know, that kind of aspect. Topically, we're going to use it on different areas of the body where there might be something that we're dealing with. So say, for example, I have some muscular issues. I can use different essential oils on that area with some coconut oil. and 
and that's going to address that. But also oils are so brilliant. So when we put them on our body, they're going to be, you know, within 30 seconds, they're absorbed into our body and they're into our bloodstream. And within 30 minutes, they've hit every cell in our body. And so it's going to, you know, our bodies are going to know how to utilize them. And then with doTERRA essential oils, and I'm only talking about those, some of the oils can be used internally. And that's a whole different, you know, sort of education model. So what I really recommend people do is to just start in and you address that, you know, you got a kit of oils and you didn't know exactly how to use them, but your intuition drew you to kind of what you needed. We also have lots of ongoing education. And so, you know, one of the things, whether we're using the book, The Modern Essentials that you pulled up, there's another one called The Essential Life, which I love. It goes through all of the oils, the single oils, the blends, and then the body systems. And so, you know, there is a little bit of a learning curve, but because these are such beautiful plant compounds, you know, our bodies know how to use them and there aren't negative side effects. There can sometimes be side benefits. You know, I may use an essential oil to, to soothe some skin issue, but then it's also going to uplift my mood or I'm using something to sort of detoxify, but it's also actually helping me to calm down, for example. And so, you know, I just, I love that we can be addressing these physical and emotional issues all at the same time. And they smell beautiful. People are always saying, mm, you smell so good. Or, you know, people come into the house and say, what is that? And I love that. Or it makes me feel this or that emotion. And I was just talking with a friend of mine who's an acupuncturist. And she says that, you know, everybody that comes into her home and now her office comments on, you know, the mood or the feeling that is evoked. And uh, our sense of smell is connected with our emotions. And it's it's the first sense that we come into the world with, it's the last to go, and it's tied to these emotions. And so we can help unlock some of those little, um, trick, you know, the triggers or the, the traumas that we're storing and the essential oils can really help us look at all of those things. So I just love having these at my fingertips and it is something that they can be incorporated into our habits daily. And so it's just a, a wonderful way of approaching this. And I think especially... You know, I think, you know, men and women love these oils, but I think especially with our intuition and, and for those of, of you that are mothers, you know, this, this way to help ourselves and then help our children or to help any of our loved ones. And for those of you who are caregivers, you know, this, this, the power of scent can really be incredible. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I think the part that was so, when I told that story about the frankincense is that they really you know, they, they kind of speak to you in this, you know, strange way that, you know, I, I don't know why I was drawn to it. And then, you know, after my father died, I really, frankincense isn't one that I'm drawn to at all. And, you know, and I've had, I've gone through these like, you know, places where, you know, the, the next one I was completely drawn to was this one called Breathe. And I remember also calling you up and saying, why Breathe? You're like, look in the book. And it was all about grief, you know, so, you know, it's been so incredibly profound. And I feel like, you know, if you are interested, just jump in and, and get yourself a kit. And if, you know, if you are interested in doTERRA, which is one of is the brand that I'm using because of Maria, um, it's just an incredible company. I mean, can you speak to that a little bit? I mean, they source, I mean, it's, the way I look at it is it's like they're sourcing, you know, how we're supposed to be eating wild animals and wild fish because we're getting the, the nutrients. Well, they source wild plants, really. They try as hard that, yeah. And where the plants have grown for thousands of years or where the plant is growing really optimally for the chemical constituents in that plant. So when I first started using these essential oils as a mother, as a grandmother, and also as an educator, I wanted to do my own research. And I have come to see that this company, the way that they are testing first off is the most important to me. If I'm going to put something on my body and, and on you know, my children and my grandchildren, I want to make sure that it's safe, pure, effective, and that the company has integrity. So I did that research and the company uh, has far surpassed anything that I've seen with the testing. They've really raised the bar for essential oil testing. So you can go to doTERRA.com and, and explore all of that, the way they source, the way they test, the way they are working with the communities around the world where they are sourcing these oils from. 
doing incredibly fair um, practices. It's called co-impact sourcing. Every single bottle has a lot number so you can look up the purity and the potency of the essential oils. So I think the transparency there is, is huge. So that's been really, really important to me. And so that I know that every single bottle of essential oil that I'm using is meeting that profile of what that essential oil is supposed to be. And I think that that's very important. It's like the food that we're eating. We wanna make sure that our food is, you know, is grown safely and so that the nutrients are going to be the highest and that any products that we're putting on our body are free of the toxins, that dirty dozen, the chemicals. And so we want to be using things that are safe and effective and that are going to really promote uh, optimal health. So if you're interested, then you, know, you can get the essential oils through Sarah and I, and then we are here to help you with that education piece. And so I think that's also so important because a lot of times if people get the essential oils, and they don't know how to use them, then the bottles just sit there on the shelf and they're not going to work if we're not using them. And so I love, as an educator, I love teaching people about how to use these oils. And then I also love hearing the stories. And Sarah, you know, you've shared so many stories with me and every single person that I've shared oils with has so many stories. And then the people that they've shared with have stories. And so I just, you know, every time that I hear a story where somebody has benefited from these, then I'm gratified because uh, you know, that's what I've experienced in my life. Yeah, and I think the other added piece to about this company is that they um, really care about the community that they're, you know, and, and helping boost the community and helping give back. And, um, and I think that's just so important when, when you hear how, you know, what is it, 10,000 roses in one, like, 10 ml bo bottle. So, you know, they're using a lot of precious plant material. Um, and well, so I, think that, I think that at a time like this, you know, here we are recording in the summer of 2020 and everything that we're going through around the world, whether it's uh, health issues or whether it's economic, social or racial injustice, whether it's climate change, you know, all of these things, every single choice that we make makes a difference in the world. And so I think that, you know, we can, we can look at the food that we eat, the the clothing that we're buying and the essential oils are no different. And so we want to make a difference with what we're purchasing and using for ourselves. And one of the things I love is that, that these are not only supporting our health, but they're supporting the family at the other end of the supply chain. Mm -hmm. And so we can look at this as a global initiative for positive change that we want to see. And I, I love being a part of something that is making a difference in so many different ways. Yeah. Yeah, so awesome. So yeah, I mean, a lot of people, because we were using them often when I was at the Resiliency Project, so many people would ask me about them. And, um, you know, and so I'm so glad to have you here explaining and, um, you know, we'll put Maria's, um, her contact information at, on this. So in case you do want to learn more. You can also go to doTERRA.com and just um, learn more that way. And, um, and those two books, I would highly recommend if you have, a lot of you were very interested. I would just, now you have a picture of the book. I would totally recommend that you pick that up because that's a really good way to start just kind of exploring the whole subject. So thank yeah. you so much, Maria. Any, any last minute? Um... Well, I'm just, I'm so happy to work with anyone who wants to reach out to me. I'm very accessible. And so I'm here to help support you on your essential oil journey. And so I think that that's a key piece there is because, you know, if you just buy the essential oil, you won't know exactly how to use it. And so I just really encourage you to get that support that you need. And so, uh, and Sarah's an amazing resource as well. So and we just appreciate all of the work that all of you are doing with the, the incredible care that you are providing. So thank you. Okay, thank you for tuning in everybody and we'll see you next week.